You're here, we're here. Let's do it. Six scary videos. Drop a thumbs Falling. up. If you're someone who's afraid of heights, then it's probably best that you skip this video. For what happens in it is pretty terrifying. Are the you video scared starts of off with someone who's wearing a GoPro as he tries his best to walk across a canyon on a tightrope. However, are you are you mentally challenged, bro? No disrespect to the homies that are, but little does he know that walking on it wouldn't be as easy as he thought. For what happens next will make your stomach drop. Oh my God! Why would you even attempt something like that? I just cannot understand this, dude. Oh, hey, hey, hey. He fell? No way. Okay, he got. Oh, okay, at least he got parachute. How scary. Thankfully, he was okay. But had it not been for his parachute, this person would have met his death a bit too soon. What makes this really unsettling is the way this video was shot in and the uneasiness it induces, especially towards the end where we see him lose his balance. It's the type of feeling you get when you're falling in your dreams. Yeah. The only difference is that this person experienced this in real life and could have actually died. Damn. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Damn. Boys. A terrifying encounter. This next video comes from a couple who were locked inside their apartment after hearing loud banging noises coming from down the hall. As it turns out, those noises were being made by someone who was wielding a machete and using it to break into people's apartments. With that said, the following clip is a bit unsettling, as what you're about to see is just beyond terrifying. So it's that random guy? Now imagine the parachute failed, bro, it, imagine he couldn't even f open on time, like it felt like that he wasn't that high enough. Seen this on a TV show? Like this clip, this clip? Screaming? Is that a random? Because I feel like I misheard some stuff earlier. Because I was sowing my thoughts. Um. Is that like. Like a random person? Oh, yeah. Hey, it, you f up! You f up, boy! I gotta get my. Call dude, call the cops. Call the cops, dude. Damn. A random person? Show he was must then have shot beef. multiple times upon entering. Although completely locked, the door was surely no match for the machete. But overall, this terrifying encounter must have been really traumatizing. Shoot. The condition of this disturbed individual is unknown. But because he was shot three times, it's safe to assume that it's critical. Doubtless, the terror caused by this person was not only frightening for the occupants, but also for the viewers. Damn. The way he says doubtless, I mean, bro, I was like, okay, some, he's still alive. I hope Scary he's alive, Colby. but he shouldn't have done that though, like for real. The following video comes from YouTuber Sam and Colby, who go and explore a haunted forest known as the Cobb Estate. However, they would encounter something way more scary than a ghost. The video starts off with Sam and Colby, who are talking about the history of this forest and how it's known for having satanic rituals take place and other creepy things. The following day, they head over to this forest and encounter something really creepy. Here's what happened. So that these other guys yeah, don't do anything people. too stupid, okay? Seriously. There's a group <laughs> of people over there. There's a yeah, group? That's so me and my homies. Yo, don't do stupid. Proceeds to do some stupid. 100%? Multiple people. What if that's you and homies? Oh yeah, ex-military? Run out of your house. Should we get out of here? Like, yeah. Okay, so the door was open. I, anybody could be in here right now. It's probably just like a grim cold. Dude, run, oh. just run. Yo, what the f Yo, I don't know what's happening. That sounded like someone getting killed. Wait, wait, wait. Are we staying here right now? Call 911. He just said call 911. Oh, somebody said that? Wait, guys, honestly, he just said 911. You honestly just dial it, dude. Sounds like the voices are getting closer. 100%. So let's choose a path and go. That girl screamed. They're acting like crazy people. They just said, call 911. Okay, what is going just, on? Just keep walking. Let's go up. Let's just go just up. keep walking. I mean, just run, my God. Lead us, like, completely to them. Hey, shh. Okay, there's someone there. Go, 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 go. Yo, run, 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 run. run. And there's like a guy with them that got like a Batman. I feel 
like he got a Batman rule. Or go, something. Go, 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 go. Someone coming. They're coming, they're coming. They're coming, run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. go. Guys, this is serious. They're actually right next behind us. Are you trying to run all the way back? No. No, they're coming right there. Look at them. Look, they're, they're, they're actually back. coming. Go, 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 go. This is serious. What would you do in this situation other than running? I know you're gonna run, okay? That's, I mean, duh. You're gonna run and you should run. But if someone is chasing you like that, what's the next thing can you do? Logically, call 911. And what else? Maybe throw a Twinkie them their way. But if you don't have a Twinkie, what would you do then? Let me know in chat. They're Be creative, chat. Advice. You're on camera. Be creative. They're, They're real close. Go. They run fast, but not that fast. They ran the entire. Wait. There they, are. they have been faster than Usain Bolt. Yeah. What the fuck's going on, guys? What is actually going on? They're right there. Guys, can you see those lights? That's them. Yeah, they're all right there. They're on, Let's go. Right when I was saying we were about to approach them. Get in, get in, get in the car. Play dead? Nah, man, exactly. you don't want to play that. Should we, should we try? You don't want to play dead unless you absolutely have to. Unless you, you cannot get out of the way. Uh, you're like trapped. You know there's zero way you can get out of the way then and you know you're about to get killed The best thing you can do is play dead and hope for the best Who knows what could have happened had they gone any further into this forest? Luckily, they were close to the entrance making their escape quick and easy As for the people that were chasing them. It's unknown if they were a part of some cult Perhaps it was a couple of people who wanted to scare them just for laughs It's still a mystery as to why they were chased Regardless of this group's intentions, it's safe to say that if they were caught, something bad could have happened to them. And this might be so, considering that this place is Damn. known for having satanic cults. Wow. Of course, let me know what you guys think. Was it just a group of people scaring them just for laughs? Or was it some cult with bad- I feel like that hiding would be even worse because your adrenaline would be pumping, your heart would be pumping, you would be scared, you would be constantly looking everywhere. I mean- like i'm not the guy i'm not the type of guy like hide like if i need to run i'm just running you know just jet but if they have a weapon on them then hiding would be smarter intentions let me know in the comments below it's uh monex it's bizarre bob i really like this guy number three this next video is an audio recording of a kid talking to a 911 operator after hearing someone break inside his house the recording is pretty scary, as the kid on the line tries his best to stay quiet, trying not to alert the person inside. Yet doing so didn't help, for what happens to him will have you on the edge of your seat. Do you hear them in the house? Damn. Do you hear them in the house? Where do you hear them? What can you hear them? Okay, don't worry, we have officers on the way. Do not hang up. If you have to, just don't say anything, but leave the line open, all right? The truck that you saw, was it like a full-size truck? Small truck? You hear them coming? Okay, hold on one moment. We have officers. Yo, how fast are they usually? Are they like two minutes? Two, usually they respond within two minutes, right? Sometimes more depending on where you at and where they at, but usually it's two minutes. It's almost there. And you hear two of them in the room with you? Okay. Have they noticed any police officers out front or have they said anything? Okay. Okay. Does your closet door have a lock on it where you can lock yourself in if need be? No, 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 no. All right. Do you have any older brothers or sisters that should be? Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Please don't hurt me. Did they open the door? Damn boy. They opened the door and saw you? Okay. Damn man, you would be okay. so helpless. Yo, he's saying help me, dog. Like you're like, okay, did they leave? 
Like, I, I understand, like, even the dispatcher wouldn't know what to do other than saying stay on the line and w wait for it. Like, they cannot do much, but it's like, okay, did they leave? He literally said, woman, he literally said, they're in. Just stay on the phone with me, the officer see him. Do not hang up. You stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay. Are you in your bedroom or are you still in the closet? Still in the closet. Okay. It's best that you okay. don't even talk. Do see him. I want you to stay right where you are. I will let you know when the officers, what they want you to do, okay? Okay. Just imagine hiding inside your closet, trying your best to not make a sound, and then being found by the stranger who broke inside. Like the kid's reaction, it would make anyone plead for help. But thankfully, whoever the stranger was didn't harm the kid. Videos like these are pretty frightening, as it makes you realize that not even in the comfort of your own home are you safe. That being said, what would you do if someone broke inside your home? Would you call for help? Or yeah, bro, like sometimes you're... Yeah, bro, that's like messed up though like honestly what's the best thing you can do you can call but imagine you cannot reach your phone imagine you're so scared that you don't even want to make a sound right like damn bro that's crazy or would you try to defend yourself what would you do defend for sure for sure call something as well. at the door this Probably next video burglars. involves two girls who encounter something really spooky while recording themselves Someone else's games Too late for second guessings Too late to go back to sleep It's time to trust e my instincts Close my eyes and leave <laughs> It's time to no. try the fucking gravity Did I she say the F word? Think oh my god This one lively bruh And the door shuts I think the ghost just wanted water Dad! 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 There it is, there it is, dad. There it is. Took some time, but- The scariest part isn't the bottle that fell, but the moment the door was wide open, the darkness outside makes you feel unsettled, making you think that something is going to pop out. Our feeling of uneasiness intensifies with every passing second. Now, it could be the case that this is all a hoax, as both the bottle and the door could have been attached to a string. There could have been other ways of faking this video, but it's not certain if this was faked. Whether it's yeah. fake or not, there's no doubting that this video is pretty creepy. Yeah, I mean, like, Ghost did not approve of creepy that song. Morgue. This last video was shot inside a morgue, where two employees saw something really creepy. Oh, the video uh, starts oh. off with who appears to be a secu- There was a video that I reacted to where there was a whole lot of paranormal activity in a hospital and I saw a viewer leave a comment. He says that he's watching that video while he's on his shift in a hospital. So if you really work in places like that, bro, don't watch. Security guard slowly approaching a door that seems to be slamming on its own. You can tell that both the person filming and the security guard are scared as they're slowly walking towards it. But, it's what happens afterwards that's not only way more scary, but also baffling. E -e. Yo, it's a morgue on top, man. Yo, what would you do, Chad? You have only one guy with you. Light is flickering. You're in a morgue. There's a door that's shutting just... Furiously. And you know, some, uh, something's up. Light is flickering, man. That's like a bad sign it's loud oh my god okay it's loud and all of a sudden it stops what would you do oh light goes out hey, 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 hey. oh okay light comes back on is it flashlights or or actual lights my god i there's nothing there why was it banging like that? As you can imagine, they must have been baffled by this. This must have led them to believe that this was the work of some poltergeist or some other entity, considering that this happened inside a morgue and that no one was behind this door. That could be the case, but as with most videos on the paranormal, Long. it could be fake. 
But what do you think? Do you think this could have been faked? Or do you think this was actual footage of paranormal? Okay, listen, man. Normally, I would say fake, but this seems a little genuine to me. Thoughts chat? It just feels a little genuine, right? Because there's... Yeah, they reach there and there's nothing. And it's like, we're not talking about any Joe Flo, Slow Boy, Antonio. We're talking about people working in mor morgue. Not saying that they cannot fake this, but it's just a little crazy. <laughs> but click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna...